Hey you guys, how's it going? Eliza here, your side biz bestie, bringing you motivation and actionable content to help you start making money online today. And today's video was actually inspired because someone asked me, how do you create a landing page with ConvertKit? This is very simple. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step video on how to create a landing page using ConvertKit. But before we get into the actual tutorial, guys, I just think it's so ironic that today, <laughs> I don't know when you're watching this video, but today was the day that Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp were shut down for like, I think six hours and everybody was freaking out, myself included. And although, yes, I have an email list, it really just made me think about how I need to move forward with my business. And if you don't already have an email list, I'm pretty sure that you're already tired of hearing everybody talk about it. So I'm not even going to get into all of those details, but this is going to be a great video for you. And remember, there's other platforms out there that allow you to create capture pages like the one that we're going to do right now so you can always collect emails before sending anybody to your product your offer your service whatever it is that you have out there now let's get into it okay guys so as promised we're going to do a step-by-step -step on how to create a landing page using convertkit so right now we're looking at my personal dashboard with convertkit and as you can see guys this is very simple to use and if you're using any other email um, provider I would recommend that you check to see if they have landing pages not all of them do but a lot of them do so as you can see look guys it says right here landing pages and forms so you're gonna go here where it says landing pages and forms and then you're simply going to go down right here where it says create new it's going to bring you to this page where it's going to ask you how do you want to gather subscribers form or a landing page we are going to go with landing page because we're creating a landing page a form is something that you would create if you already have a website and it's gonna give you an embedded code so that when people go onto your website it pops up right you know that when you're shopping and you get the pop-up to get the discount that I feel like at this point we all ignore right we got to get more creative with <laughs> collecting those emails in those stores guys but that would be the form but we're not doing a form we're doing a landing page here so guys, check this out. ConvertKit gives you a lot of samples, which is why this is going to be a very quick tutorial. I'm not even going to spend too much time on this because literally once you get in here, you're going to play around with depending what it is that you're giving your, um, your audience, right? So your landing page, in order for you to capture someone's email, you want it to be something of value. Of course, not everybody's just going to give you their email just because. You have to be giving them something in exchange, right? So they have some um, topics here to give you ideas, right? Whether it's an event, right? It can be a virtual event, a free virtual event or webinar. Whether it's a link, whether is it is it a newsletter, right? If you're just letting people know, hey, sign up to my newsletter so you can get more finance tips every week, right? Or you can get whatever it is that you're giving them. Whether you have a podcast, let me see what the podcast ones look like. Whether you have an actual product, right? Maybe you're going to just, you know, you're giving some, them a product. Um, profile video waitlist. You see there's a bunch of stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and click on ebook because one of the giveaways that I have right now is a lead magnet that I'm using for a um, private Facebook group that I'm working on is a free dropship ebook, right? So... I'm just going to go ahead and choose the one that I actually did so I can give you guys an example. So you can go in here. You can play around with all of these, right? Whoa, what's going on? Okay. So you can go in here and play around with everything that they have. Um, I did choose this one right here. So I'm just going to show you, right? You can preview it on the laptop. I always work with phone because let's be honest, guys. Everybody, I mean, you can look at your metrics, your metrics will let you know your analytics, which is the same thing. They will let you know where are your subscribers coming from. However, I think it's very important for you to um, always make sure that it looks good in mobile, which ConvertKit does a good job with that, right? So um, I like to see how does it look on mobile? How does it look on a desktop, right? Boom. So I'm definitely going to choose this one. So we're going to go ahead over here, click choose. Then... Guys, this from here, it's literally just changing everything. So you're going to go in here and change this so that you know what it is that you're working in, the title. So we're going to put example landing page, right? Because that's what I'm working on. 
Then I'm going to go on here and you can change the heading, right? So you can go in here and change the heading to whichever font you want. As you can see, look, it changes. You can play around with this. Then let's say you want to go in here. So for me, right, it's the free drop ship. It's actually a free eBay and I have this in all caps. Free eBay drop ship ebook, right? So when it comes to your headline, you can either let them know exactly what it is that you're getting or you can make it enticing and ask a question. So in this example, the people that are coming to this page, they're probably coming here because they want the free ebook, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and let them know free eBay drop ship ebook. Um, and then you're going to give them a direction, right? Enter your name. I always put name because I love to make sure that when I'm sending emails out, I get to personalize. And some coaches will also tell you to put phone number. I don't have a texting system yet, which I probably should get that. <laughs> but that's another thing, right? I always do at least name because I like to personalize my emails. And I'm going to show you how you do that, right? So enter your name and email below to begin making sales this week, right? You need to make it enticing. What is the objective of this ebook, right? Or what is the, the, um, the goal, right? What are they going to gain from whatever product it is, right? I'm, I'm looking for the correct word. It's not the goal, right? It is the goal. But once they actually digest this product, whatever it is, what is the outcome, right? What is the outcome for them? So make it enticing, figure out what it is that they're going to get after they finish the ebook, the class, whatever it is that you are promising them, right? So email, and then I'm gonna click here where it says plus. And as you can see here, it, it goes very simple, guys. Custom fields, and you can get, the good thing about ConvertKit is they let you create tags, and I'm not gonna get into that. Probably I can do another video. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments, and I'll really go into depth about ConvertKit and how you can create tags so that you can actually um, separate people who are coming into your email list, which is really great if you have multiple products. And then um, let's put here first name because that's what it is. And you could change it, right? You could put first name, you could put name, I like to leave first name because I don't need your whole government, honestly. And we're going to put required because we want to make sure. And this is what I love. See, MailChimp does not let me move it. And I don't like to have the email address first. I don't know why. I just feel like people are used to putting name and email. And then if I wanted to add something else here, right? Custom field, you can change it and you can put, put whatever it is, right? Label. It's not letting me label. Hmm. Okay. But we're not doing the um, extra field, so I'm going to delete that field. So then one thing I like to always do is edit the button. I don't like it to say sign me up. I want it to say, I think, and I think, right, depending on your audience, you know your audience best, right? Give them something to make them click, right? So in this instant, we're doing the eBay dropship ebook, which is a freebie that I have. So I would put like, you know, I know my audience, right? Give me the deets or um ebook, please send me the ebook, right? Send me the ebook now, right? So get creative, right? Because you don't want it to say subscribe now or you know, it's just boring and people do come on here and they read and you're going to go and play around with this guy. So it does let you I just want to let you know that it does let you um, if I can go on there, general styles. So this is the background. You see page background. You can go in there and edit the photo. And then um, if we wanted to change this picture, you can click on it. Very simple. Edit that picture. Replace. We want to replace, actually. And this is actually a logo. So you would go in here and add your logo or delete it, right? I, I, didn't, I didn't put no logo there. I actually have it deleted. And then once you're done with this, guys, pretending that we did edit this, you're going to click on save. Now, there's two things you can do here. You can either add a thank you page, right? Add a thank you page and thanks for signing up, right? Which you would, um, I would change this. I would say your ebook is in your email. Check. Right? 
your ebook is in your email check for the link the, and it says it right here right and you can either delete this or you can add it there some people right this listen and I'm not gonna get too into depth with this this will be a great opportunity if you had a funnel system to 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 the word is called the tripwire to trip them up with a low cost product that is related to the freebie that you're giving them right and I don't want to get in too much into that but if you guys want to learn more about that drop it in the comments because I will make a whole nother video this is strictly just a step-by-step -step on how to create a landing page on ConvertKit so I'm not gonna get too into that so you can either have a thank you page and then when you go inside your settings right send incentive you will e edit the email and then you will come in here and add whatever it is because this is what they're going to get. You can come on here and change the subject line. So happy to have you. Or in this instance, right? Are you ready to get to make sales this week with your free ebook? Right? And then I will put the ebook in here. Which, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to edit it. I think I might do this. I don't know, guys. I'm going to... Let me tell you something. <laughs> this is funny. I'm thinking out loud as I'm showing you guys this. I actually... What I always do, I normally... Okay, so let me, let me step back a little bit, right? If you decide... There's two things, right? You can create the thank you page. When you create the thank you page, you need to go inside and click on settings. Click on incentives edit email incentive and you're gonna edit this you need to make sure you add whatever the product is that you are providing to your potential customer okay that's one the other option which is what I usually do because I hate when people don't give me what I ask for and that's a personal opinion other coaches will tell you otherwise that you're missing out on money and honestly I agree I'm working on my funnel but today we are talking about landing pages what I normally do is, so I'm going to click on remove, right, because I don't usually use thank you pages. What I do, guys, is I'm going to click on settings, where it says general, and redirect to an external page. And then I'm going to go on here and put whatever the product is. If it was an ebook, I will put it there. If it was a video, I will put it there. Whatever your product is that you are sending to them. Perhaps if it's an event that you're hosting, you're, you, you're probably not going to send them there. You might have a thank you to let them know you are not RSVP'd. You will have front seat at the event, right? Whatever it is, guys. And there you have it. Then you're going to click on publish. This is your link right here. You're going to copy that link. And I want to show you one more thing. So when you are promoting your landing page, guys, you don't want to use this link right? You're not going to use this link. So one suggestion is you can go on bit.ly and create a short tag, right? So one of my short tags for, see this right here, this is a landing page as you can see that I use with ConvertKit. And what I do is I let people know you can go on bit.ly slash get to the bag to learn more about the 10x system. Okay, and you can see all of these are always landing pages, guys. eBay Dropship 101, that's my um, dropship book. Um, T-shirt brand checklist, when I was selling Total Life Changes. Every time I always had landing pages, and I used Bitly to shorten my link, guys. So I hope you guys found this useful. Make sure you never send a customer to a product, to a service without collecting an email and phone number right because I'm guilty I don't have an email um subscriber yet but soon to come thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next video